Hey there guys, it's me, Cleveland J, and welcome back to Berry Wished. Now as you can recall, this is a game that my friend recommended me, and this has violence, mild gore, mentions of suicide, mentions of self-harm, killing and death, and blah blah blah, viewer discretion is most certainly advised, yep, we've gone through this before. Where I grew up, the folklore surrounding our neighboring forest was always filled with such intrigue. Oh, what some of us would give to enter the endless maze of trees, but she's in a fox or thicket. It tricks your eyes. Not many children were allowed to go in by themselves, and many legends we heard helped deter us from the crooked woods. One of the most prominent ones claimed that any living creature found themselves lost within the forest was destined to die. This urban legend was only really used by parents to steer kids out of going to the woods on their own, but there have been re real reports of people going missing inside these woods never to be seen again. There is a window right there. What drew the kids into these woods in the first place? The answer is surprisingly another urban legend. Of course it is. Rumor has it that a powerful witch lives deep, deep within the forest. Hidden amongst the trees and wildlife, she is said to have the power to bring one's deepest desires to fruition. What kid wouldn't dream of endless riches, popularity, or success? Your deepest desires were awfully promising. However, getting lost while trying to find the witch? It's a coming to the force of a legend. Felt terrifying. As I grew up, my fear of these woods grew less and less. I'm not afraid of what lies beyond these trees anymore. What lies beyond? Huh. <laughs> There are many paths to avoid this fate, yet some seem to lead in circles, or just bring you nowhere. It's infuriating when you're just trying to get to one place, only to be back where you started. That literally, it back through my mind, as I wanted aimlessly, for it seemed to be hours. My legs were growing weak from the bumpy path I walked on. I am calm, I am fine, everything will be fine! Despite saying these things to myself, I noticed my hands were shaking. I was lost deep, deep into the woods. Damn, damn these winding paths. Choosing to heed my legs request for a west. I sat down against a tree nearby. The cold, thick air felt almost refreshing as I sat there. Over time, my eyes beckoned for a rest. And I complied with their demands. My vision slowly fades to black. Hello! Hello! Are you alright there? I hear a feminine voice call out to me. My eyes so close, with a sharp pain in my head. A headache? My body felt in a different position from where I last left it. I could feel the cool grass beneath my head. But I don't remember lying down. I open my eyes to finally greet the mysterious voice. Oh! Oh, you're okay, thank goodness! I was starting to get worried! The girl with bright pink hair and even brighter dis disposition met my gaze and another big word. She was hovering over my body, kneeling next to me. Her smile felt warm and comforting. She emanated the smell of freshly baked bread and strawberries. And the more I thought, the worse the pain in my head became. Ow! I groaned in pain, <laughs> slowly gathering the strength to stand up once more. Oh, careful dear! Here, let me help you! The girl had all the might held onto my arm and supported me as I stood up, and my legs still ached and my head hurt, but nothing bad seemed to happen to me. Right there would be no chance of the silly legends being true. I looked over at her, noticing her fancy attire. What an odd girl! What was she doing? In, what was she doing out in the forest, dressed like that of all things? Eh, I suppose I shouldn't judge her too harshly, though. Her dress is cute, and she did just help me after all. Thank you! Who are you? Oh, my name is Strawberry. I have a bakery not too far from here. What's your name, friend? And once again, our name will be Ron. My name is Ron. It's nice to meet you. But did you just say your name was Strawberry? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, my name is Strawberry. Be on the Strawberry Witch, silly. Regardless, it's nice to meet you, Ron! 
Wait. Did, 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 did she just say witch? She didn't appear to be more spiritual kind. She looked more like riding broomsticks, making potions, th that kind of witch? Or perhaps was she the witch that I heard in Legends all of those years ago? Golly, you look really worn out. Say, how about you come up with the rest of my bed for a while? You must be thirsty. Oh, I sure am. I can get you something lovely to drink. On the house. Free food, yes please. Sure, why not? Let's go get some food. Thank you! I'll love that, but first, can you tell me more about what you mean by a witch like you? Yeah. Oh, well, Slimy, you probably don't have people like me where you're from. Yep, we sure don't. I'm a strawberry witch, where magic is centered around strawberries, plants, and things sweet. I use my magic to make lovely treats in hopes of making people smile. So, no broomsticks. No granting someone's wishes greatest desire either, hmm? Her answer was a little disappointing because she's an FBI agent or CIA. Hmm. Still, I couldn't help but feel that there was something greater beneath the surface. Huh? No, although I suppose I can make a strawberry fly if I worked hard on it. Yeah, this girl's harmless at least. The witch enthusiastically led me through the winding path to the forest. She appeared as though she knew every three bush and rock, like the back of a hand. As we walked, one question lingered in my mind, why would you do this because it's so stupid, who knows. I mean, that's where her witchy magic kicked in. Perhaps she has reasons I can't see yet. Yep, because she certainly doesn't, but you keep being an idiot, so. What the? The house strawberry led me to appear to be made entirely of cake. Strawberry frosting on top of Kenny scented rooftop. But they're so delectable. Hansel and Gretel, anybody? The appearance would be any child's greatest dream. A very creative, imaginative child with a particularly sweet tooth, that is. Hansel and Gretel, anybody? Was it real? Hansel and Gretel, anybody? This all felt an entirely different world. Almost as if I stepped into a fairy tale. Hansel and Gretel, anybody? Walking through the fields of strawberries, bushes, and closer to the house, I could see a sign that read, A Strawberry Witch's Bakery. Yep. Ta-da! Here we are! What do you think of the exterior? Ron! It took me so long to perfect my magic in order to make anything this cute! <laughs> Is that real cake? Is it edible? Is that real cake? Is it edible? I'm a hungry boy after all. <laughs> I asked this out of curiosity alone. Totally not because being out in the forest all by myself made me very hungry. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's not real. Not real at all. It's totally normal bakery made of normal bakery materials. Whatever you say, lady. Whatever you say. So it's free. Please don't leave my house. Strawberry spoke in a panicked voice and began to fidget with her apron. The house was totally edible. She's a really bad liar. Still, I felt bad, so I decided to give her this at least. Bad liar, you say, huh? That's that's just what she wants you to think. All right, totally inedible. I got you. Why don't I see the inside? The witch quickly guided me inside. Whether that was an attempt to keep me from eating the house, or simply because she felt awkward and wanted to move on to the topic, I'll never know. To be honest, it's probably both. Oh, it's probably a mix of both options. I am a genius. A warm rush of air brushed past my face upon entering the door of the bakery. The smell of fresh baked goods welcomed me and further into that was not the right thing at all. Surprising all the baked goods hosts displayed were made of strawberries, it's got some variety, I suppose. I pressed the middle ski by accident. Don't do that. Can I get you something to drink? I quite a better strawberry milk. Oh, oh, or a strawberry lemonade. Those are the best. Ooh, yes, I would love that. Ah, so much variety. Only strawberry drinks? The girl was kind of funny with her stream seeming. I oh, got I'm hungry. So give me the cow juice, human! Ah, can I have some strawberry milk? The cow juice at that. Honestly, strawberry milk or cow juice always held some sort of nostalgia for me. Can't quite remember the last time I've had it, though. 
Yeah, you're not, you're not the only one, buddy. You're not the only one. Suppose today's just as good a day as any to indulge in an old treat. And sure it is. Yes, of course! Go make yourself comfy, Ron! I'll be right back! With that, Strawberry pranced to the kitchen, humming a soft tune as she left. We need to skip past all this because who cares? Hello! Here you go, you must be thirsty! Oh, I indeed am. I'm very hungry, too. She said, setting down my drink of choice in front of me. I took a sip almost immediately. The cool, refreshing taste of the strawberry milk immediately regenerated some lost energy I had. God, am I really hungry right now? Thank you! This was awfully kind of you. Ah, oh, don't mention it! I live to serve! She laughed maniacally, saying, Live to serve, but in an almost goofy, overly fancy way. I will remember that for the next video. Jess, please let me know if you need anything, okay? Ron! Anything at all! She smiled at me. Her voice sounded genuinely concerned. It wasn't merely nice to feel somebody so worried about me. Excuse me. I, I wasn't used to the feeling. Our conversation slowly melted into silence. I should probably think of something to say. <laughs> Strawberry, if that's your real name. Let's be nice for now. Food. We can eat the bunny. <laughs> Can you tell me more about yourself? I had been curious to learn more about the witch. I feel like I've only gotten short tidbits of big information thus far. Well, I'm young, I'm more curious what about you. The real thing is honestly blah blah blah. Give me to the food. Food, give me to the food please. It's not a lot it's still a bit strange, but I've been working on a magic that can bring me life and blah blah blah. Like reviving the dead? Uh, no, it's actually more embarrassing than that. Uh. It's actually more impressive for you. Yes, eat the bunny, 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 eat it, 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 yes, yes, eat it, eat it, eat it. Open it, open it, come on, go eat the bunny, 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 eat it, eat it, eat it. Yes, eat it, yes, yes. Consume the rabbit. Don't want no Captain Crunch, don't want no Raisin Bran. Well, don't you know that other kids are starving in Japan, so eat it. Or an odd choice for a snack. Making a strawberry look like a bunny was certainly creative. I'll give her that. The texture seemed much harder than a regular strawberry bunny, though. So perhaps it would be easier to eat in small pieces. <laughs> oh, yeah. Delicious. Delectable delicacies. <laughs> Tearing apart the star bunny and then the strawberry smell fall. I could have sworn I heard some sort of high pitched squeak, but perhaps it was just my imagination. I was quite hungry after all. The witch had an expression that now I rather shared as complete discomfort and disgust after putting a small piece of strawberry in my mouth. Oh yeah. What what are you what are you The taste it was exquisite! Sweeter than absolutely anything I've ever had before. Wow, strawberry, this is amazing! I spoke my praise, albeit with my mouth slightly full. <laughs> God. I just shoved my hand in my mouth. <laughs> strawberry wasn't looking too well. Indeed, she does she does not look too well at all. She quickly rushed off into the kitchen. I feel like this would even cause her discomfort. I should follow after her, just in case. No, no, where is it? I saw Strawberry frantically opening every drawer and cupboard inside the kitchen, looking for something desperately. She even opened the massively sized oven looking inside of it. God, dummy! Why would it be in the oven? I approached her closer as she continued her search. Strawberry, what's wrong? So stay back, please! Tears just streaming down her face. She looked as if she had witnessed a murder. Because it is one. But it's a delicious one at that. I, I'm not sure what I did, but I'm sorry. How, how can you do that 
to a living, breathing creature. I, I trusted you. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Strawberries are meant to be eaten. <laughs> the witch's expression suddenly became more blank. No, more shocked feels most appropriate here. It was just a snack, right? Honestly, they were delicious. You, you should consider selling those in your bakery. I've never had anything more delectable in my life. I was caught off guard mid-sentence and the strawberry grabbed the sides of my arms. She was strong. Much, much stronger than she looked. Her grip was hurting me. Strawberry! Before I knew it, she began pushing me, backing me into a corner. With one giant push, she threw me into... THE GATES OF HELL! Her oven? Oh, that's pretty lit. It feels like an oven in there, but yes, it is pretty lit indeed. Oh yeah, you're on fire today, Ron. You're on fire today. The fire scorched my skin immediately. Putting my body into shock. Quite shocking, if you ask me. I could smell my flesh burning off me. Soon, I would be nothing but a burnt corpse. Of corpse you would, but hey, she's roasting you, so... I'm so funny. I stroll to get out. Get out of the oven. Get out of the fire! Everything was so hot, so unbearably hot. I screamed in excruciating pain as I found her consume me more and more. Slowly, Strawberry closed the oven. <laughs> I think she's a psychopath. The Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> wow. That was interesting. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next wonderful video. Bye-bye!